Hey guys, hey guys, Rachel V4 here, your Elevated Possibilities Coach, and I am so excited. I'm so excited to be here because for one, it's been a while. It's been a little bit. If you've seen my post, I was out supporting my husband. We were, I want to say two games from the state championship. I say we as if I'm coaching, um, but it was super exciting. So I was there taking care of things with him, but I'm back. I'm back today and definitely want to come to you with some valuable teaching. Uh, for those of you who are meeting me for the first time, it's nice to virtually meet you. My name is Rachel B. Foy. I'm an Elevated Possibilities Coach, and I support women with mindset, mission, and value. So if it's your first time, if you'll just drop me some information down at the bottom in the comments, if you'll just say, hey, I would love to shout you out as well as if you have been here before and you follow me, thank you so much for coming back. If you're catching this in the replay, if you'll just put hashtag replay, I greatly appreciate it. So let's jump right on in. Today, we are going to talk about three ways, three, three ways to march forward. Let me make sure this camera is right. So for those of you who know me, typically when I come on live, you know, I am wearing my attire. So today, yes, you see me in my, in my workout clothes. So today I'm in my workout clothes because I went to the gym. But I have to back up for you. We're talking about three ways to march forward. Well, first, I got to tell you what happened today. So I posted earlier today about feeling accomplished. The first thing is I was interviewed regarding my nonprofit. So I have a nonprofit mentoring young girls, and it's called A Impact. So I go and I have my makeup on and I'm there at the I'm there at the studio. Hey, how are you, Jermaine? Nice to see you. So Jermaine, I'm talking about three ways to march forward. It's the month of March, so three ways to march forward. But I'm telling them the story. I was interviewed this morning for my nonprofit. So I go and I'm being interviewed and the interview goes well. I feel really great about the questions. It's just all around such a blessing to get to talk about the organization. So then there's that moment of the playback. Okay. The moment of the playback. They play the interview back and I'm looking at myself at my at my beautiful self and i cannot help but notice that um my face looks a little full to me my face looks a little full to me um it looks a little thick to me hey lynn and so i'm thinking no wait this is not how my pictures look when I take my selfie, like my pictures don't look like this. So I'm saying to myself, like my face looks a lot thicker than it did just three months ago. Although I was already planning to go to the gym, I'm telling you like that sent me into, oh my goodness, operation. I need to get my body and my life together. Okay. <laughs> so I said all that to say is typically my normal Mode of operation is I would immediately jump into some sort of ridiculous diet that probably included like water and water. And I would go to the gym and work out just ridiculous because one time on one picture, my face looked a bit thicker than I'm used to it. That's not true life. Like life comes, life goes. And so with marching, I know, I know, right, Lynn? It's just, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> But the truth of the matter is, when I went to the gym, I knew that I had to go to the gym with intention and I needed to go with a plan. So today I'm going to talk about three ways to march forward. Now, I told you guys how excited I was to be here because it's been a while since I've been on live. So I have some notes over here so I can stay on track. Um, 
So I've been doing a series, you'll see Mindset Mondays, that's talking about the mindset. And on my vision board for this year, for 2019, I don't typically do resolutions. Uh, they just never really worked for me. So I do what I call, I set intentions. So I set an intention for the year in different areas of my life. And then with those intentions, I create a vision board. Every year for probably the past five, maybe six years, I've had a word for the year. I'll pray about it and I feel like a word will settle in my spirit. And so this year, my word was completion. So with the word completion, there's four different areas on my vision board, excuse me, and one area said healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy spirit. And so the reason that went with completion is because oftentimes, like I talked about, how I'll go up and down with exercising, up and down with diets. For about a year, I had truly changed my lifestyle. So I had changed the way I ate. I had identified that I was an emotional eater. I would eat when I was happy. Um, I would eat when I was sad. I would eat when I was joyous. I would eat a lot. And so there was nothing wrong with me eating. The part that I needed was consistent exercise for my health. So in part of completion, I needed healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy spirit. So today, three ways, what came to me when I was sitting there and went to the gym was three ways to march forward. So we know this month is March and it actually tells us what to do. We're marching forward. So the number one thing, the first strategy to be able to march forward is to get started. Like we have to actually get started. So if you're anything like me, or if this sounds familiar, if I said, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. I typically wanted to go to the gym on a Monday. So Monday would roll around and I may not quite get to the gym that Monday. And so I was like, that's okay, that's okay. I'll, I'll do it on Tuesday. And then Tuesday would roll around and I was not at the gym. Then on Wednesday, I would say, well, Lynn says, yes, 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 she understands. So then Wednesday would come and I would say, well, it's the middle of the week. I really shouldn't start the middle of the week. You know, I'm gonna be sure to start next Monday. And so that would go on and so on and so forth. And so strategy number one is get started. I wrote down this phrase. I love this phrase. It, someone said it. I don't know who. It is not mine, but we can all resonate with it. It says you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. So strategy number one is get started. Doesn't matter what day, doesn't matter what time of day, but find a time that is feasible for you and that you can stay consistent. But more than anything, strategy number one is get started. Okay, strategy number two, set attainable goals. Now, for me, the example is when I saw myself on the playback of the interview this morning, I wanted to go and run a marathon. I said, if I get out there and I'm going to run and I'm going to, I'm going to eat, I'm going to be so healthy. And I'm, so that was my first initial reaction. But then I had to tell myself, Rachel, calm down and let's actually set attainable goals. Lynn says, yep, I'm not the best yoga student, but I show up. Exactly. So Lynn got started and she shows up. So for me, Set strategy number two, set attainable goals. So I had already set the goal last week to go to the gym three days a week, just three days. So my goal was to go three days a week. One, I'm already paying for the gym membership. And two, I know if I get up and go to the gym, that that's three days of movement that I didn't have last week. So set small attainable goals. My first goal was three days at the gym. And then I also added two days to be active. And so active, I have two small girls, they're five and seven. So my girls are always active, they're out doing things. So any sort of movement, if it's 
We have a dance party at home. We are wiping things down in the house. We are raking the yard. We are sweeping the porch, whatever it is, but some sort of activity. So that gave me five days that I've had some sort of movement. I did not jump out there and tell myself to do it for seven days. I know me and that's not happening. And so why set myself up for failure? Because the first time I miss making seven days, then I'm going to be down on myself. So strategy number one is to get started. Strategy number two is to set attainable, small attainable goals. (laughs) Yes, Aaliyah says shovel snow. No, it's not snowing here. In Texas, it's 30. So, you know, for us, that feels like negative 30. That's really cold in Texas. But no, we didn't have any snow yet. So those are the three strategies. I'm sorry, two strategies. Get started, set attainable goals. And then number three is accountability. I needed someone to be accountable for. So I actually have a partner that I meet at the gym. I have a partner that I meet at the gym on um, the days that I come. And it's really funny because you can go and look at records and look at who checked in. Um, And one time I told her I was going to come and she's like, "Mm, I checked the records and you said you came and you didn't. I was like, girl, I did come. I came a little later, like later, but I came. Not that you need accountability uh, that stringent, but accountability for sure. You know, anything in life, when we have accountability, we're typically going to perform better. So the three strategies for marching forward is one, yes, ma'am, one, get started, two, set attainable goals, and then three, have some sort of accountability. Whether you're writing down your goals, whether you have someone that you're going to be able to check in with, or if you have a community. So later tonight, I'll be going live again, and I'm going to talk about Operation Healthy Body. Yes. And it is not a challenge because I don't do well with challenges. Some people like to call it a challenge, really whatever you would like to call it to be a part of it. But it's going to be Operation Healthy Body. Hey, Atina. And so it's going to be for the month of March. So I am looking for people that can hold me accountable as well as people who also want to be held accountable. We'll talk about what the rules are, which there really aren't many rules, except you got to get started. Then we need to set you some goals. And then our community will be the accountability piece. But if you are here today and you're interested, if you will just drop me a comment below saying I'm in, then I'll be sure to give you details, um, further details for tonight, as well as when we'll get started with Operation Healthy body. So for this whole year, I'm definitely focusing on healthy mind, healthy body, healthy spirit. But at this point, after my interview this morning and the playback video, we need to get on Operation Healthy Body ASAP. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for being here. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is the first time I've gone live on this page. I'm trying to move everyone over from my personal page over to the business page. Okay. Atina's in. Atina says she is in. Atina, I'm going to write your name down. Tina is in. Awesome. Um, But I'm going to come back on live tonight. I'll post like I did earlier, just maybe five minutes before I get ready to go live with a bit more information about it. But three strategies, three ways to move forward in the month of March. Marching is all about moving and marching forward. So we want to get started. Strategy number one. Then we want to set attainable goals. 
small achievable goals and remembering that those small achievable goals lead us to the overall, to the big picture, our big goal. Um, But set small attainable goals. And then strategy number three, accountability. What's going to be your form of accountability? And so if you're in with Operation Healthy Body, we'll talk about that tonight and talk about the community that we're going to have just to check in with each other and to encourage one another during this month of March with Operation Healthy Body. Well, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, which I'm sure you have, make a positive impact today. Oh, Lynn says, bring your workout clothes. Right. Yes, Lynn. My workout clothes are going with me. Listen, when, when they did the playback, I, I am really serious because, you know, Like when you take your own picture or when you do a selfie, you can angle your picture and you look a little slimmer in the face. But see, mm -mm -mm. like today, I said they did not angle that camera correctly. And I know that I already know. (laughs) They say, I don't know who they is, but they say that when you're on TV or you're on a camera like that, it adds 10 pounds. And that's true because that picture today was not cool. But what it did do is it keeps me marching forward. So I marched myself right on to the gym today where I was supposed to be anyway. All right, guys. So I will post a little bit later about what time I'm going to come on live tonight with more details. But thank you guys so much for being here. Go out today. Make a positive impact today. Go map it. I'm Rachel B. Four, your Elevated Possibilities Coach. If you're finding, if you're watching this in the replay, please put hashtag replay. Once you watch it in the replay, if you're in, then comment below, I'm in. All right, guys, until later. Bye.